morning to everybody. First of all, I would like to thank uh, the director uh, and uh, uh, Professor Department of Pharmacognosy for giving me this chance to deliver a lecture in the webinar which is organized by the Vistas. And I, I, I hope uh, many webinars were arranged by the Vistas. Uh, even I have attended uh, some four or five uh, webinars. And today I am going to discuss about a uh, 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 lecture, the uh, topic from guinea pig to computer mouse. This is an alternative methods for humane education and research. So the content of my lecture is the various uh, different kinds of softwares available for teaching purposes as well as for the research purposes. Apart from this, uh, five R concept uh, in uh, research also I am going to discuss. Uh, first of all, uh, the, the most of my uh, lectures, uh, this lecture have been taken from this book called From Guinea Pig to Computer Mouse. Uh, this was published by the Internich Corporation. Internich is nothing but International Network for Human Education. And this also includes alternative methods for a progressive and human education. This is not only for uh, pharmacology, you see, this is for uh, basic medical sciences like uh, physiology, pharmacology, pathology, microbiology and biochemistry. And some part of my lecture has been taken from the uh, journal called Altex. Altex is nothing but alternatives to animal experimentation. This uh, particular uh, journal is exclusively for the alternatives to animal experimentation and uh, we can see this uh, the March uh, uh, 2020 uh, issue where the in vitro human fracture hematoma model. It is very difficult to do this kind of experiments in animals and this hematoma. So the author has published a, 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 a paper that is the in vitro human fracture hematoma model a tool for preclinical drug testing. Even this uh, Altex is uh, very often used to, to conduct a webinar and you can, here you can see the webinar recording of the uh, use of non-animal skin sensitization methods that is for the uh, development of uh, cosmetics, uh, uh, skin militancy studies. They have conducted a webinar and uh, that recording also you can get it from the uh, Altex. Right. Now, I am going to discuss about whether testing on animals is a reliable way, whether the uh, results which is obtained from the animal studies can be transformed into human or not. We can, a very good example is uh, atropine esterase. It is an enzyme which is present in the rabbit but not present in the human. If you take 100 milligram of atropine, it is lethal for human, whereas it is not at all lethal to the rabbit because the rabbit have atropine esterase and enzyme, which is absent in case of human. Like that, there are many differences between the human and animals. To quote few example, penicillin, as you know, which produces anaphylactic shock, immediate type hypersensitivity reaction in human, even though it produces anaphylactic reaction, it is a drug of choice for various infectious diseases. But cat and guinea pigs are highly sensitive for the penicillin. The penicillin is lethal for cat and guinea pig. The second example is arsenic, well-known heavy metal, is not at all poisonous to rodent like rat, mice and also for sheep. Morphine, a known narcotic analgesic, is a CNS depressant and it produces a sedation in human, but it is a central nervous system stimulant for cat, goat, and horse. The fourth example is a digitalis. We know it's a drug of choice for the congestive cardiac failure. Still, it produces hypertensive crisis in case of the dog, but it is the life saving drug for the human being. The cleopinol, it is a number, it's an important drug which is manufactured and marketed in Japan during 1970s for the treatment of diarrhea. But actually, cleopinol 
not at all working in human as an anti-diarrheal drugs instead of it produced diarrhea as the side effect and also more than 30000 cases of blindness have been reported after treatment with the cleopenal so in these circumstances the major outbreak is a 1960s thalidomide tragedies which uh, the thalidomide is the drug uh, which was given for the treatment of uh, morning sickness in pregnant women uh, especially the vomiting will be profound during the first trimester of pregnancy so upon administration of the thalidomide during uh, first trimester of pregnancy it causes the placental barrier and produces uh, uh, fetal abnormalities called the focomelia in newborn but uh, in animals thalidomide is not teratogenic in nature that means it did not produce any teratogenic effect on animals so in this circumstances how we can rely the results which is obtained from the animal studies and how it can be transformed into the human as you know that most of the researchers use cytotoxicity studies for their project by using various transplantable tumors like dalton society lymphoma early society sarcoma and sarcoma 180 like tumor but actually the history of cancer research has been history of curing cancer in the most we have cured mice of cancer for decades but it simply did not work in human that means the pathophysiology of the origin of tumor is entirely different or uh, there is a difference between the pathophysiology of a particular kind of tumor between animal as well as in human the currently 9 out of 10 experimental drugs fails in clinical studies as you know what is the success rate of uh, the drug development process it is only 0.4% but even if it uh, clears the preclinical trial and it goes into the clinical trial there may be chances of success only in 10% because we cannot accurately predict how they will behave in people based on laboratory and animal studies even it is marketed and there may be chances of withdrawal of the particular drug during the post marketing surveillance now there are some organization which is against the use of animals for research as well as for experimentation purposes for example blue cross peter peoples for animals and the enforcement that is a prevention of cruelty to animals act as per the spca act no animals has to be utilized for the research purpose or demonstration purpose unless otherwise uh, uh, the people has to get the prior permission from the authorities so based on this prevention of cruelty to animals act 2014 july university grant commission has sent the circular to all the universities stating that no animals should be used for teaching and research purpose unless otherwise uh, you have to get approval from the cpcsea right now what is cpcsa it is nothing but committee for the purpose of control and supervision of experiments on animal model mostly cpcsa recommends the oecd guidelines for the toxicity studies or sub acute sub acute chronic and sub chronic toxicological studies right now now alternative test methods in which i am going to discuss about the five r concept before going before going for the software uh, is the uh, first r is uh, nothing but uh, replacement uh, replacement is nothing but exchange and use of information about the animals experiment which already carried out uh, we can predict the activity based on the physical chemical properties of the molecule or we can use mathematical or computer modeling or we can go for in lower organisms which is not protected by legislation or we can go for in vitro methods using various cell cultures or we can utilize the early developmental stages for example the chicken embryo for preclinical studies 
what is refinement refinement is nothing but you uh, doing the experiments in a refined manner for example utilization of the animals restrainer or anesthesia for removal of blood sample or uh, euthanasia to kill the animals on the end of experimentation third or is a thing but the reduction the reduction can be well explained uh, by the ld50 determination the conventional way of determination of the ld50 is by lichfield and wilhoxon method miller and tainter's method or corpus method so these three methods require minimum of 100 animals for the determination of the ld50 after the oecd guidelines as per 420 fixed dose procedure 423 acute toxic class 425 up and down procedure by 1.37 factor 402 limit test which utilizes either 2000 mg per kg or 5000 mg per kg or oecd guidelines 401 which require only 10 animals for the determination of the ld50 it is the best example for the reduction of the native we can go for, we can we can uh, uh, means uh, instead of going for the conventional methods of ld50 determination we can go for oecd guidelines now the fourth r is nothing but the rehabilitation after the end of experiment what we are going to do our animals the fifth r is the responsibilities of each and every researchers to follow the uh, four r's that is replacement refinement reduction and rehabilitation right now now i am going to uh, discuss about the softwares available for the experimental pharmacology around 10 to 12 softwares are available just i have read out some of the softwares xform micro labs pharma tutor winsims cardio lab macrack 2.2 maxim mouse watch pharm calc pharm sim etc so these softwares Uh, some of the softwares are available freely we can download some of the softwares like micro labs whereas the cardio lab software which i i will be discussing afterwards so by using this software i would like to uh, uh, demonstrate some experiments that, that is followed by the software utilized for the uh, toxicology right now the x form this is a well known software uh, now the copyright is with uh, elsevier this x form was uh, designed and executed by dr ravindra of uh, jipmer pandicherry where we can uh, show the effect of uh, mitriatics and myotics on rapid die and bias of histamine that is uh, by matching as a bracketing as an interpolation bias using guinea pig helium and the effect of various ions uh, like calcium uh, potassium and drugs like adrenaline noradrenaline etc on the frog's heart and the effect of drugs on drug blood pressure on heart rate uh, effect of drugs on frog esophagus motility so these kind of experiments we can carry out by using the x form and this x form have two mode one is the tutorial mode by which uh, we can teach them and at the end of the tutorial mode we can go for the examination mode also by using this particular software now the second software which i am going to explain is the uh, micro labs the micro labs software is uh, developed by the european union of uh, program on comat and this cost is uh, around 135 us uh, dollars and we can get it uh, uh, by Uh, biosoft.com by if you go to a particular website biosoft.com uh, you can get the micro labs here i am going to uh, show some of the videos for example this is the uh, strap tail okay 
open. Yes, this is the uh, strap tail reaction. You know what is mean by strap tail? Uh, morphine by contraction of the anal sphincter uh, can able to put this erection of the tail by 90 degree. So this is the characteristic uh, symptoms of the morphine and orthotic analgesis due to contraction of the anal sphincter. Right. Now uh, this is uh, with the regards with the cholinergic drugs. As you know, uh, there you will find the copious uh, secretions of the saliva in rapid after administration of the cholinergic drugs like pilotarpin. So, uh, third uh, I am going to discuss is the uh, circling movement. Circling movement is the characteristic uh, circling movement is the characteristic symptoms of uh, uh, cocaine-like drugs. Uh, this is the circling movement. This is repetitive behavior of an animal after administration of the uh, cocaine. So uh, these kind of experiments are used to, to find out whether the person is addict for uh, morphine or uh, cocaine and the urine of uh, the particular person is uh, administered to the animals and by the end point we can say whether uh, the person is addict to um, what you call morphine or um, now this is microtoxin induced uh, convulsion. So any CNS stimulants on higher concentration can able to produce convulsions. Whether it is particle stimulant or medullary stimulant or respiratory stimulant uh, like uh, nicotamide, uh, caffeine, pentylene, tetrasol, on higher concentration it produces convulsion. Here yeah, I am going to show the administration of uh, 20 milligram per kilogram of uh, picrotoxin. Uh, that can able to produce uh, uh, convulsion in the animals. So this software is called Microlabs. By using this Microlabs software, we can uh, see 63 effect of 63 drugs on the uh, animals. So this is the convulsion where you can see the extension of the limbs. This was produced by uh, 20 mg per kg of picrotoxin. Uh, now, uh, there is one phenomena is called catalepsy. Catalepsy is the characteristic symptom of antipsychotic phenothiazine. So, here you can see the animal uh, is maintaining its position, how we have kept. Even if we remove the wooden block, the animal is unable to move. This is the characteristic symptoms of antipsychotic phenothiazines. You know, you know antipsychotic phenothiazine uh, produces Parkinsonism as the side effect. And I, I said this is only for the demonstration purpose to the students. It, it don't have any uh, benefits for the uh, researchers. So even if you remove the wooden blocks, you see here, animal is maintaining, uh, still maintaining its position. Right. Uh, this is the last uh, uh, thing we did all the rethink. You know, even the many numbers of uh, uh, many numbers of procedures are available for screening of uh, narcotic analgesics, right? But for non-narcotic analgesics, like this is the rethink movement. For non-narcotic analgesics, uh, uh, we have to induce the rethink by administration of some algesic agents. So, the best algesic agent is acetic acid. The acetic acid can able to produce rethink. Rethink is nothing but the uh, stretching of the abdomen. We can see the uh, rethinks in the animals. Right, this is the thing. Right. So, this is uh, called the Microsoft software. Uh, now, uh, we are... Stop. Now, we are going to discuss about the uh, Pharma Tutor. It is the most important software. It is called the Pharma Tutor. 
uh, in by using this uh, format editor uh, uh, software we can do five different type of experiments one is simple pharmacokinetics second is blood pressure with the catecholamines third is blood pressure with acetylcholine dose response curve and the neuromuscular signal transmission so i can able to demonstrate a few uh, experiments in the simple pharmacokinetics the simple pharmacokinetics as you know adme absorption distribution metabolism and elimination so now uh, this is uh, absorption by uh, means uh, stomach or upper part this gastrointestinal tract stomach and the upper part of the small intestine and distribution means throughout the uh, body uh, metabolism by liver and the excretion by kidney so now i am going to run the experiment now uh, time versus plasma concentration here we are going to get after administration of the single oral dose as you know that when the drugs are given by single oral dose first the stomach will be filled up by the drugs slowly uh, disintegration dissolution and enters into this systemic circulation and you will find when the time is equal to zero the plasma concentration is also zero when the time increases the plasma concentration is also increases to certain extent and automatically there will be drop in the plasma concentration because of the metabolism and excretion right suppose if the drugs are uh, uh, given by the intravenous injection intravenous injection so there is no question of uh, absorption by gastrointestinal tract the drugs are given by intravenous injection because directly enters into the systemic circulation so when the time is equal to zero you will find the maximum plasma concentration then it gradually declines this is intravenous course of administration then you can ask the students to to draw this kind of curve after demonstration suppose if it is given by intravenous infusion right intravenous infusion means when the time is equal to zero the plasma concentration is also zero because the infusion is at a slow rate right so it almost it looks like a oral route of administration but there is no decline in the plasma concentration because the uh, in infusion means it, it has to be given continuously all right now like that we can go for intravenous with the second compartment what is second compartment apart from the systemic circulation and the drug can be distributed into various body fluids it can be stored uh, in the in our body so that also we can explain this is uh, pharma tutor now the uh, blood pressure and catecholamine right what catecholamine now this is a recording of the normal blood pressure of the dog right now by using this particular experiment i can demonstrate the effect of five different drugs adrenaline noradrenaline isoprenaline in presence and absence of alpha blocker and beta blockers right i would like to explain only the dels vasomotor reversal this is the most important uh, question in gpat which one of the following drugs produces the dels vasomotor reversal or by basic response so here you can see after administration of the adrenaline it produces by basic response that means the rise in bp is due to alpha receptor the fall in bp is due to beta receptor right there was a scientist called dale who was working with the ercot alkylase right now in presence of an alpha blocker alpha blocker example for alpha blocker is ercot alkylase so in presence of alpha blocker now we alpha blocker is administered as you know that alpha blocker and beta blocker do not have any effect on the normal individual in presence of the alpha blocker again i am giving adrenaline right now 
This is by basic response of adrenaline. Here, uh, alpha blocker is given. In presence of alpha blocker, I am giving adrenaline. So, what you will find, the by basic response of adrenaline is converted into a depressor response by prior administration of an alpha blocker. This is called the Dale's vasomotor reversal. So, like this, many number of experiments we can carry out by using this particular uh, pharma software.